Hello everyone and welcome to day two of AJ's Encrypted's Week of Halloween. I'm Homer Simpson. I'm some sort of Buccaneers fan. Number seven. Number seven. It's actually my freshman football high school. Very cool. Jersey. So a little yeah. throwback. I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, Jeez. nobody has. Well, today on the show we have some uh, horror games to talk about first, before we get to all the other fun stuff. So, first... Video games. Video games. <laughs> or, well, Halloween type. Scary video games. Scary video games, yeah. So, first one that comes to mind, Resident Evil. Oh, my, uh, obviously. One of my favorites some of the, all time. Some of the most suspenseful games, like, ever made. They're yeah. pretty creepy, especially the first ones where it's the fixed camera angle, which gave it that extra eeriness that made you kind of jump when something came Poop after you. Poop your pants a little. Yeah. yeah. And there's a giant zombie chasing you, like, going... One mile an hour. Yeah, but my favorite of out of all of them is Resident, Resident Evil Four. Mm -hmm. um, there is Resident Evil, Evil Resident Evil Five, but that's just we have some issues a little, with that. Too, a little issues with that. Yeah. Also, Silent Hill is a big one, obviously, since they've made a movie out of it. Same thing with Resident Evil, obviously. Yeah. Um That's another big one. It's said to be some of the scariest games ever. Um, Fear. Fear is my one of my favorite shooters. In the and name, it is definitely. It will definitely creep you out if you play it in the dark, because that little girl is just out there, out there, scary. Doom. Now I remember <sighs> Doom three specifically when released. When we, him, you and me were playing it on I release built, night, and we yeah. shut the lights off, turned the sound up all the way nine and ten point one. When you first play that game and you start, it's pretty spooky. Shit jumps out at you, and you know it's it's crazy like that. But then after a while, you're like. And zombie uh, coming out around the corner. Right there, and he's dead. And then, and the first couple times, it is pretty spooky. Yeah. Um, also, Dead Space, which is a new one. Dead recently, Sp it's for kind me, of starting this new... Yeah. Dead Space kind of... is a fresh take on uh, shooter, like third-person shooter horror. It's probably right. the best thing I've played since Resident Evil 4 in terms of horror and scares. But it, it's set in, obviously, space. Uh, with all these different creatures that are infesting the, I forget the name of the ship, but this big ship. Uh, this has also been made into an animated feature, and I think they're working on another one. So, another feature, and then they're doing... There's another Dead Space coming out. Dead Space 2, yeah. the game. Yeah. Uh, also, Castlevania. Classic. Which is supposedly going to be turned into a movie soon, too. And uh, my favorite, Left 4 Dead. Mm. Um, if you haven't played Left 4 Dead... Or Left 4 Dead 2, just, you're, you're missing something yeah. in your life. It's just fun. Uh, it's, it's really fun. It's, it's fun to just mow down wave after wave of zombies with chainsaws, bazoo, or, uh, bazoo, not bazoo, but machine guns, shotguns, Hammers. machetes. Yeah. It's very fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, Left 4 Dead is a, is a great game yeah. if you haven't played it. So that's it for video games. And now we head back to Ritter's for part two. We want to get some apples. Now we got a peck, a half a peck, a bushel. I like a peck. I just need a couple. Well, we're just going to get a collaborative bunch to make what? Pies, bobbing for apples, apple all, 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 all string. Yeah, everything. we're going to do our little, you know, so yeah, Halloween thing. So, we the peck. Alright, we'll get a peck we'll and we'll, 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 right. we'll, right, we'll grab that and we'll throw in, we'll each throw in. Get some Macintosh. Right. Macintosh, we all are very sweet tart and easy. Finding the perfect apple. Ooh. I like that one. I like that one. This one's got a little, little, uh, yeah. little wormhole right there. Let's, Let's get, get four of these. Like four of these? Yeah. yeah. All right. And pick then one, we'll move pick on. Pick the other. Pick the right. last one. Yeah. Yeah. How many of these are we going to get? Let's see if we get a little couple of everything. Let's see if we get at least one of everything. I mean, that'll yeah. just kind of... Uh, Make sure we each got one. You know, kind of, what, what, what the thing is, I'm going to forget which ones are which. Um, I got two Red Delicious put there for me. Oh, both for you. You didn't get me, I, didn't, I don't get a Red Delicious. I don't get a Red Delicious, I'm only sure you does. How many of these did you get? I'm not a big fan of the Red Delicious. Just saying. Oh, and I, did I feel like Red Delicious is like the cop out of Apple. We need to find out which one. I just feel like it's like... Which one is good for me? I'm pretty sure that 
the Macintosh ones are good for use for use for baking, I believe. It usually says. It does say, and I'm pretty sure it did say baking. This one says baking. Do you want to do one? That one says baking, and I'm pretty sure the Macintosh ones are baking. What do you want to bake? I see it's your little mix. You get the multi apple pie going. Multi pie. Multi pie. Are you really gonna notice the taste, the difference of an apple inside of a pie? Unless, oh, if it's obviously it's crispin or something, but. This is an apple kind of store. This is for John. John's gonna get a little pumpkin on his desk. Just like that. To hold his papers. You know, it's perfect. For whatever so, yeah. he does. So I'm gonna put that in here for John. Did you get that, John? Alright. <laughs> you wanna pick out your own? This one? Uh, uh, no. 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 Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the nicest one. Yeah, it is. You pick the nicest one the first time. That's right. Do I want a crisp one? Should I get another red delicious? Get a crisp one. I'm going to get a crisp one. He wants a crisp one. We'll get him a crisp one. What is this one? Look at this. Crisp, Jason. Holy sweetness. Well, we got our apples. Let's uh, get Did we some. get our apples? There's a little space here. Uh, what, for tomorrow? Nah, I think it's good. Right, let's go get some donuts. Donuts. Get two. You want to get two? Oh, we're getting a dozen. Oh, ah, okay. It's well, the same price. I mean, it's the same price. We got a dozen. Oh, yeah, no. I got two. Oh, you, do you want to get two bags? Like, no. Well, it's up to, I mean, that's up to you. I mean, yeah. I'm going to spend oh, two bags. These are going to stay at your house. I don't know how many donuts you don't want to eat at your house. Do we still have leftover? Uh, no. They're gone. Okay. Well, then we'll get to it. A lot of stuff here. I don't think I've ever had the pumpkin donuts. I'm not. I see. I don't think I would like those. That's just. Why don't you do one of those and one of these? Let's. Can I do that? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. We'll do pumpkin and plain. A shot of our little table here. Yes. A table of, of wonder. Yeah. This is where they make all the donuts, and they used to bring us here when we were kids. And it was a lot smaller in there before. They just expanded, I guess. And they'd have a whole thing on the conveyor belt. They'd run the donuts. They'd come off on there, and you could see all the runts. All the ones that didn't didn't quite turn into donuts are over there. This is where they make peanut butter, and um, they just throw the peanuts in there. I'll pop some peanut butter. Yum yum. And my favorite is the honey peanut butter, which I just bought. So I don't need another one until I fill my fat ass with more of that. This is where they make the cider. And they crush it. Well, I know that, but I mean, what, what, what size? Um, let's see the gallon. Let's see the gallon. Okay, the gallon, yeah. Yeah. Honey sticks all the time. Yeah. You know what? I forgot about the honey sticks. Yeah. I'm gonna get a. Uh, I'm gonna get a honey stick. I think I'm gonna get a honey stick too. <laughs> I'm gonna get one of these. Another full of grape. And then lemon or strawberry, watermelon or grape. I don't know. Hey. It's probably gonna ruin right. What's up? Why Ritters? We used to come here all the time and like we'd be my mom we'd be up here at least once a month buying cider and apples and stuff, so it's a tradition. Same question? Why Ritters? Yeah. <sighs> it smells good. <laughs> um it tastes good. And good. it feels good. Yeah, it does. Now, I also came here with my mom about once a month or more. And um, I remember at one point, I'd be coming back here very often for the peanut butter, the honey peanut butter. It was so good. We took a field trip here from Jefferson Elementary yeah. um, a long time ago. And I remember we just, this is one of the first ones we went to. And they showed us how to make the cider in the back. Um, they showed us how the, the donuts are made, like there'd be someone in the right. back making the donuts like right there on the spot when you were doing it. And it was just really cool. Like we watched all the, the apples get thrown in for the cider and it, it was just really cool like to see how everything's done, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah. And then you can only bite, you can only take half, like the, some of it out as far as 
Yeah, only so far, because otherwise... And then you got to use your fingers. Yeah, you have to scrape it up. Yep. But I remember they used to have stacks of these, like every flavor you can imagine. Yeah, now they have like clover, lemon or strawberry, or watermelon or grape. Well, I think it's just right? that they had the watermelon and the grape in the same thing. Because mm. this is definitely just grape. I guess that would be pretty gross if the grape tasted like watermelon. Actually, person. it might be. <laughs> is it? I don't know. It, it tastes be. good. I don't give a shit what it is. I don't know. But, yeah. We had a fun time. So I guess I could say, back to you guys. Picking apples was pretty fun, but it was also kind of annoying. Uh, so we decided to take them for a little dip and hang them. Yes, we are going to be bobbing for apples if you haven't already noticed. Um, so what we're gonna do is, um, we're just gonna, it's gonna be whoever can get theirs first. Yeah. Um, out successfully. Yeah, out without using their hands. So you have to hold your hand behind your back. Go okay, in. Alright, so then let's move this. No, um, yeah, this around. No, um, no head butting. No head butting? <laughs> head -head -butting I can't, like, give you a bloody head. No, you can't, you right. can't start off like that. And no, um, yeah, like, no fighting off the other person. It's just like, you go for an apple. One. I'm gonna butt your head as soon as we go. I know. I'll let you go first. <laughs> Three. <laughs> I can't see. One, two, three. segment is a little more challenging, I think, and it's called... Oh, no. Well, it's bobbing for apple, but it's yeah, apple on a string. Because this is like the more traditional way to do it now, because they say the um, the bobbing for apples in the water isn't as hygienic. And, and I, I said, oh, that's a load of bull, until we did it, and there was boogers and drool and snots and 
pair and at least it was just us two and yeah. not like a pile of people because that was yeah there's like if you're at like some party with a bunch of like random little kids do not let your kid dunk their head into that bath, slime bucket that filth bath that's how kids get chicken pox Small so pox. kids die yeah. anyway um so, so we're gonna go, go outside and do this on the on the string and it's pouring out and it's like a monsoon it, it's huge hurricane ajaz here we go yeah here we go Okay, so um, we are going to try and eat this entire apple off of the string. At least those are the rules, and we'll see what happens. Okay? Yeah. We think it's gonna be an experiment. We're After experiment. bobbing, now bobbing, we're bobbing and being soaked. Go. That segment was probably one of the most fun things we've ever filmed, and there was a lot that we didn't show you, like filling up the that giant bucket in my bathtub and yeah. carrying it through my hallway. Well, our brilliant idea was to, hey, let's fill it up in the bathroom, which is not anywhere near where we're no. in the kitchen where we filmed it, and then haul the giant, like, 400-gallon container of water <laughs> yeah. into the small hallway and into the kitchen. So we had to dump half of it out so that we wouldn't spill it everywhere, and then we finally got it there. And we had to fill it up more with a hose that we sprayed from the sink, like Which we should have five done. feet away, yeah. to fill it up more. Made a mess. Made a mess anyway by dunking our heads in and getting water all over the and floor. Doing the wet dog, yeah, hair. That almost thing. hit the camera a couple times. Yeah, which but was um, a little nerve wracking. And it's pretty gross. The water after even the initial dip. We found some oily water, some boogers. hair, boogers, and snot and drool. It's seriously a way that kids definitely get big, like, diseases at <laughs> Halloween. It's, it's pretty crazy. Gross, but I wouldn't want to do that again. It was pretty fun. Yeah, it was definitely fun. So yes, uh, yesterday we had this text message, uh, and, you know, we haven't really heard anything um, about, any, about UFO. any UFOs or whatever. Bull crap. Whatever. So that's dismissed. But, yeah. Tomorrow, make sure you stay tuned for day three where we go through a corn maze and we get a little mischievous. See you then.